of um, cut and so this is what's going into the uh, into the distiller so that's what goes into the distiller and we cut it so that we, um, we cut the stems short so we're looking primarily for the flowers and what I've got in here we cut uh, this morning and it's about eight pounds of material and uh, the way that this still is constructed is that the um, this pot on the outside is uh, the boiling pot and it's got water about that deep in the bottom of the pot and a burner underneath then there's another pot that's attached to this lid that has an open bottom and on that open bottom there is a, uh, a lid that has holes in it. So what I do is I take this off, take these off, take this off, turn it upside down, take the lid off, stuff it full of this material, put the lid back on, turn it upside down, back upside down, put it on top of here, and then hook all this up. So what's happening right now, once the temperature gets up at to 202 degrees, which is boiling for this, this elevation, once it gets up to temperature, the steam starts coming through the material, the steam comes up, goes up this tube, and then when the steam gets into here, this is what's inside this tube with all these coils of copper. And going through the coils of copper is cold water. So as soon as the steam gets into that cold environment, it condenses, and as you can see, it's dripping out down here at the bottom. And what's dripping out of there then is the combination of the steam that has come up through the water and the oil that, that is taking out of the flowers and the stems of the material and it's coming down and dropping into this, into this uh, jar. The oil is floating on top. <clears throat> this is the material that we distilled this morning. And there's a little thin layer of oil on top. What is underneath is called hydrosol. And the hydrosol is simply uh, the water that has this in suspension the fragrance of the lavender. You can take, take it, pass this around and give yourself a little refreshing spray in the face. And, uh, so once we get it into the, uh, into the jar like this, what I have over here is a separatorium. So we pour the um, hydrosol and the oil into the separatory and then we gradually release the hydrosol into a jar and when we get down to where the oil is then we allow the oil to come out sucker so i'll show you how that works settle for just a minute and show you what the material looks like after it's all done. This is what we took out. This is what we took out from this morning and it's all dry and, uh, and pale but it still smells. So what we do is we take it and we put it on our pathways up to our yurt and as uh, just walk on. So that it uh, releases the aroma as you walk on it? That's right. So that's what came out of there. That's right. That's what came out of there when it was all done. That's when it, after it's all spent. Do any of you have any questions at this point about the process? Is it like olive oil, should we say, where you get the pure oil first and then you can put more water in and do lesser grades? Um, we do separate. Uh, in other words, what we did this, uh, this morning, we got three jars of Hydrosol and we label it first, second, third, mm -hmm. so that we know what this is. Mm -hmm. I can't tell any difference between the oil. Yes? What variety is that lavender that you have to uh, That one, I believe, is Buena Vista, if I'm not mistaken. And what I'm 
doing here is a, this was a combination of Buena Vista and more of them. So the two, two of them together. So what I do at this point then is simply open this up and start draining it. And I don't know, can you see the little line of oil at the top? This, by the way, is what we got out of the, this is the oil that we got out so, so far from this morning. There's a big difference in the uh, amount of oil that you get depending upon the variety.